Yeah, we, uh, that's a heck of a game, that's for sure. Uh, we probably put ourselves in that situation by not doing the things we need to do in order to win the game. Uh, but the good thing is, like you saw, we just we played hard, played through it. Uh, older guy stepped up and we had to. We got rebounds, um, hit our free throws, and we didn't count. So that's, uh, that's all you can ask those guys when they get put in pressure situations like that to come through for the team. And I know I know they wanted that win off the bed. Um, like you said, they're starting overtime. We uh, had a few turnovers, and we weren't rebounding well at all to start the overtime out. And then, I don't know what it is. Maybe we have to get down by. Maybe we have to play from behind to play harder. That's what we got to get these guys to understand. Like, like you said, he, he did everything we needed to do and, and more. You know, it's asking a lot for him. This is only the second game back from his knee injury. Um, I know he's not back to 100% yet, but like you saw and like you said, you know, he he got in, he got in, got some penetration in the lane. He did, you know, getting some assists and causing some turnovers um, and just doing all the little things that I'm trying to get everybody else to understand. We got to do in order, in order to win games. We, that was obviously uh, a goal for the game was to use our size advantage to go inside. And I tell them all the time we want to play inside out. And the three point shots they need to come from inside the post and then on, on the kickback on the kicks out on the kickouts. Um, and, and we, we missed some bunnies that normally we're going to hit. But like you said, I mean with our size advantage, we're able to enable us to get rebounds and, and multiple opportunities uh, to score.